Hello everyone. So today we'll uh, start with fast Fourier transforms. What is fast Fourier transform? Fast Fourier transform is uh, basically an algorithm to calculate DFT only, discrete Fourier transform only. All right. Uh, now, if we have a DFT-like tool, then what is the need to have fast Fourier transform? Okay. So uh, for better understanding of that. We just need to uh, consider this equation x k equals summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n right e to the power minus eta 2 pi n k by n. And what is that? That is nothing but the equation of dft. All right, and we know this is applicable to both periodic and non-periodic functions okay okay we have defined one more term right wn equal to e minus eta 2 pi divided by n right this term is known to be as Tweedle factor. All right, we have discussed this thing in uh, detail while uh, doing that DFT part. Right, let's substitute this WN in this place, then in this equation. All right, so what this becomes, what my XK becomes, XK equals summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1. Right, it's a, a finite sequence uh, transform. Right, x n, and I've replaced e to the power this thing with w n, and obviously to the power n k. Right, where uh, my k ranges from zero to n minus one. All right. Now these both the terms can be expanded in form of real and imaginary terms. Right, so let's rewrite this equation. Xk will become equal to summation n equal to zero to n minus one. Right. Now, first we'll write for x n the real part of x of n. All right. Plus eta imaginary part of x of n. All right. That is one part. Multiply with multiply with what? Multiply with real part of Twiddle factor, right? Plus imaginary part of Twiddle factor. All right, just mark this equation, equation number one. All right, from this expansion, you can see for single value, uh, for one value, we have to perform n multiplications all right now for n values i mean uh, it will range from 0 to n minus 1 that is its length is n right now for n uh, values we have to multi uh, we have to multiply this with n right so this becomes n multiply n complex multiplications All right, or you can say n square complex multiplications we have to perform. All right, likewise, we need to perform n minus 1 additions for single value, and for n values, it will be n multiply n minus 1 complex additions. All right. So we considered one problem while doing DFT. All right, while we are discussing it here, actually I would like to show you how many complex additions and multiplications we were performing at that time. All right, so to uh, better understand that, you must know what is the length of the sequence, right? It's four, right? That means n equals four, okay. That means my n uh, will range from zero to n minus one, that is uh, four minus one up to 3 it will range okay 
likewise this k will range from 0 to 3 ok now you are quite familiar with this equation this is uh, nothing but the discrete Fourier transform alright now we are performing uh, this multiplication over here ok now I'll expand this by substituting different different values of n and k and we'll see how many complex multiplications and additions we perform at that time all right now if we consider for uh, k equal to 0 all right so uh, we can uh, we can consider four values of n right for x equal to 0 okay it will range from 0 to 3 so let's substitute 0 1 2 3 for this particular case, we haven't uh, considered this thing, this exponential factor, because this uh, value be will become equal to 1, as e to the power 0 is 1, right? So, let's see. There are 4 multiplications, actually. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right. Likewise, likewise, wait. Likewise, uh, for x, equal, x equal to 1, there are 1, 2, 3, and 4 total 8 we have seen till now right then for x equal to 2 it is 1 2 3 and 4 all right 8 plus 4 12 right <coughs> and 12 plus 4 uh, two values uh, become zero right so 12 plus 12, 12 plus 4 that is 16 all right i know how to uh, determine the uh, complex multiplications total complex multiplications that is n square right so what is uh, what is my n for this particular problem 4 all right so 4 to the power 2 equals 16 only all right likewise we can determine additions also right the complex additions now see there is 1 2 3 3 additions for x equal to 0 i mean uh, for k equal to 0 right then for k equal to 1 we'll perform three more right one two three all right now for k equal to two k equal to two right there are three more okay so total nine we have seen till now all right then for uh, k equal to three it will be one and two more right that uh, i haven't written over here but there are two more additions okay so nine plus three twelve it should be twelve all right so what was the formula for uh, complex additions how we find total complex additions it's n multiply n minus 1 right if we substitute n equals 4 this becomes 4 into 4 minus 1 right 4 multiply 3 that is 12 only okay i hope you get a clear idea about complex multiplications and complex additions in dft all right now coming back to our, our main topic and that is difference between dft and fft right if we consider fft sorry i have to change the color otherwise it will not be visible okay so for fft uh, number of complex multiplications will be number of complex multiplications will be n by 2 log of log to the base 2 n right likewise number of complex additions will be equal to n log 2 n right now if we consider same example that is n equal to 4 right we have substituted uh, these two equations with n equal to 4 all right so what we get let's see number of complex multiplications we are getting is 4 all right likewise number of complex additions we are getting is 8 all right which is much less than or you can say uh, that is uh, there is a significant difference between these two values and uh, values we are we were getting uh, while calculating dfts uh, number of complex multiplications for dft were 16 if you remember right likewise number of complex additions for dft were 12 for n equal to 4 all right so you can see the difference okay so i've included one table over here right in here uh, with uh, 
for different values of n all right these are the complex multiplications these are the complex multiplications for d and these are the complex additions for dft likewise this here is complex multiplication and addition for fft right okay now if uh, you observe uh, this carefully as we go down i mean uh, with increase in the value of n you can observe that uh, your complex multiplications and complex additions this value is also increasing largely right whereas if we compare if, if we compare uh, uh, complex multiplications and additions of fft for similar values of n right you'll see obviously there is an increase but that is much less than uh, the increase you can observe in dft right so in upcoming videos we'll be discussing two basic types of or uh, two classes of ffts right one is DIT FFT and other one is DIF FFT. All right, this is decimation in time and decimation in frequency. Right, so we'll discuss those in uh, detail in upcoming lectures. But uh, uh, you must understand uh, what is decimation. There are two terms actually decimation and interpolation. All right. Interpolation uh, we have already seen while doing DFTs. All right, basically uh, when uh, we were performing a circular convolution, okay, so we need to pad uh, our sequence to uh, sequence with zeros, right? That is interpolation, and decimation is uh, will leave one sample behind, right? And consider uh, the next one, okay? So in next lecture we'll be discussing. DIT. That's all for now. Thank you.